Greetings, YouTube. So Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, and I heard, I've heard a number of other artists have decided to pull their music um, off of Spotify. Why? Because Spotify has Joe Rogan on their, on their streaming service. And Joe Rogan is a misinformation source, disinformation source. Um, in addition, um, he is uh, a transphobe and a pipeline to fascism. Joe Rogan is not a good person. He is uh, lauded for his stupidity. Um, as I think if someone said that Joe Rogan is what a, an ignorant person thinks a smart person is. Uh, but Joe Rogan himself is, is, is actually ignorant. Um, or he could just be spouting bullshit and not really believe anything he said. That's quite possible. Um, that's happened many, many times. Um, you say what you need to to make the money, and he makes a lot of money. Um, Spotify paid $100 million for Joe Rogan. Um, but you see, since Neil Young and Joni Mitchell and a number of other, other artists, I've heard that Foo Fighters may be yanking their catalog as well. Uh, Spotify has lost 25% of its value which I think rounds out to like $4 billion. That's, that's real money. Um, their response so far has been to say that they're going to have more stringent um, guidelines when it comes to misinformation uh, about COVID-19. And that's good. I mean, that, that's a step in the right direction. But they don't seem to be addressing his other absolute bat crap ideas about like health care. Um, they don't seem to be addressing his transphobia. Um, or his uh, embracing the fascists of America. They aren't, they're not dealing with that at all. Um, it, in fact, they seem to have a really hard time with fascism, as most social media platforms out there do. Um, uh, Twitter, at one point, um, rolled out a filter, a software algorithm filter for uh, white supremacy. And the problem is it was catching too many Republicans. So they decided not to roll it out. That happened. Um, but Spotify is uh, really pretty much, as they say, stepped on their own dick. Um, you don't shit in your bed. And apparently they have. And now people are reacting and they're getting a whole lot of bad press. And this makes me very happy. Now, I know there are people out there who are looking for new um, streaming services. And I am not a streaming service expert. I do not use them. Um, when I listen to music, um, the options I normally go to are WCRB out of Boston, which is uh, Classical Radio Boston. I listen to that a lot. Um, I listen to WNHN um, all, pretty much every day when I'm at work. Um, they do blues, jazz, um, and some progressive news broadcasting. But when I'm listening to them, it's all music. Um, um, I listen to uh, who else? My wife listens to N, no, M. PR, Minnesota Public Radio, uh, the show The Current, which is a nice music selection. Um, I, and by extension, I listen to it because she has, she has it running in the kitchen all the time. Um, and they do have a nice musical selection. Um, and there is an Australian, uh, what was that? What was that Australian service that I recently heard about that I thought I actually suggested it to my wife? Give me one second here. And I will find it in the sent folder because I sent her a link. Here we go. Music to my wife. It's uh, abc.net.au. It's out of Australia. Um, they have some dedicated music channels, one of which I, I, I hear is very good at uh, giving people an exposure to new music. Um, so those are some of the options uh, I use. Um, there are other services. I would personally not go to Apple because Apple's not much better than Spotify. Um, and they don't really give much to, to to folks. I've heard Bandcamp is good, um, but again, I don't use Bandcamp, so I can't tell you. There are options out there, um, and in, if you want to seek them out, do so. But I would not give your money to Apple or Spotify. Um, they're not good people. They harbor um, fascists. Apple, for example, has a Steve Bannon podcast, and uh, you know he's one of the architects of uh, the uh, previous president's you know, administration and his policies. So, yeah, he was a horrible human being. Um, so, yeah, put your money where your mouth is. If you don't like these folks, take your money away from them and go someplace else. 
look for public radio stations. Now, I do support New Hampshire public radio. We support that. Um, that's the most common radio station I listen to. But they are almost exclusively news. I'm a news junkie. Um, I mention public radio on this channel constantly. Uh, in addition, um, they do play on Friday nights. I listen to that when I get to going to work and when I'm, I'm reading before work. I always read for about a half an hour before work just to kind of get myself into a good state of mind. So when I read my gaming books. Um, and I listen to WNHN. That's uh, out of New Hampshire. And they play a lot of blues, blue jazz. Um, the only time I don't listen to them is on Thursday nights because they have a guy who does interviews, you just, you know, interviews and musicians. So the musicians are cool. Their music is often quite nice. But he's a horrible interviewer. <laughs> he just isn't any good. Um, so I don't like listening to him. So I listen to CRB, the classical station, on, on, on Thursday nights. Um, but you have options. I mean, if you like public radio, support it. We give a monthly donation of 10 bucks a month. It's not a lot, but every month they get 10 bucks out of us because we believe in supporting these stations. At the moment, I can't support CRB and WGBH. Other stations I listen to are a lot out of Boston. <clears throat> but if I'm ever in a position that I can donate, I will. Um, so, you know, donate to good people. Don't give money to Spotify or Apple who are supporting fascism just because it makes them a buck. And don't listen to their lame, well, we're going to make some better, you know, algorithm changes about COVID-19. That's bull. Even if they succeed at that, they're still not pulling Rogan for his hate, his bigotry, his fascism. So, yeah, not good folks. So, yeah, get out there. Find good music. Support public radio. Um, and avoid streaming services that support fascism.